What's up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I have a little problem this morning. I can't seem to find my USMC hat. I don't know where the hell it went. And I've been looking frantically since yesterday morning trying to find it. And I have no idea where it is. And it's, it's driving me freaking nuts right now. So I gotta find the thing. I don't know where it's at. Hopefully I find it soon. But anyways, this video, as you guys can see, is about the motorcycle. Um, I finally got it all back together for the most part. Uh, the new fairing kit's on. Well, it's, it's a new fairing kit. It's a, uh, it's just a blank fairing kit. It's not painted. Um, Inshane Designs is, is planning on wrapping the bike for Motorama. Um, so it should be up there. Uh, you'll be able to see it if you come up. Um, Motorama information is in the description. Go check it out. The website's there. Uh, you can go click on that if you're coming from out of state to see all of us that are going to be there. Um, there's hotels available and stuff of that nature. It is literally less than a week away. Um, so go check that out real quick. But basically what this video is going to be about is just a review on the company that sold me the fairing kit. Um, this is the first time I bought fairings for this bike since I've owned it. Um, if you remember correctly, the bike used to be green, like an army green with um, uh, yellow, mustard yellow wheels. Um, it was a cool color. People liked it. Some people liked it. Some people hated it. It was just the way it is. I liked it. I thought it was a unique setup. But the fairings over time from riding the bike and, and beating on the bike uh, slowly started cracking and melting and just, you know, just things were falling apart. And it was time for a new fairing kit. And this was the opportunity to do it. The company that sold me this fairing kit is called 9S Parts. You can find them on uh, Amazon, they're on eBay, they have a website, they also have a Facebook. I will have their information down below as well in the description, check that out. Um, and you guys, if you guys have motorcycles and, and you need fairings for it, I highly recommend these guys. Um, reason being is because Number one, if any of you guys out there ride motorcycles and you've bought fairing kits, more than likely they're coming from like China or Taiwan or Japan or someplace like that, and they take a month to get in. It's ridiculous how long it takes to get fairing kits for a sport bike on eBay or any of that nature. And I'm not buying, I'm not trying to spend $1,500 on an OEM fairing kit for my bike when I can get them for $400 fully done, ready to rock and roll, a Repsol kit or a custom kit or anything of that nature. So. This individual here, uh, 9S Parts, I contacted them because I found them on eBay and I was only looking for an unpainted fairing kit. I wasn't looking for anything with designs on it because I knew I was getting the bike wrapped anyway, so there's no point in wasting my time getting a fairing kit that didn't, that, that wasn't blank. And I found them on there, they were like $170 free shipping. It was like $175 or something like that free shipping. I did not get a deal on these fairings. I paid $170 or $180, whatever it was, free shipping from 9S parts for these fairings. So I'm not doing this as a, a review of, oh, he hooked me up, so now I'm gonna do a review or some of that nature. I'm just doing it because I'm very satisfied with the product. I'm very satisfied with the shipping. And that's what the next topic is here. The, the shipping, like I was talking about before, um, you know, when, when I called him up, I actually talked to him on the phone, which was really, really nice. And they're in California. And he told me, he's like, oh yeah, you know, well, we can have them there in like four days. And I'm like, four days? He's like, yeah, four days. I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, so I didn't have to wait a month, which is really cool. Uh, and literally four, four days, it went by and it, here comes the fairies. The fairies showed up at the shop and I'm like, wow. So I didn't do a really in any type of an unboxing. As you guys can see, the fairing kit really, really looks good. I'm not gonna lie, like the fitment is really good. I got a one-up cow for it, which I already had a one-up cow. Uh, this one's a little, it seems like this one's a little bit tighter. This one feels a little bit tighter. Like it, it doesn't want to move around too much. There is dirt on it. As you guys can see, I was, I was touching with my hands and stuff. So it has dirt on it. The final finish of these unpainted fairings is, is almost painted to be honest with you. Like I, I mean, you know, other than like little stuff, you know, the scratches and stuff like that, I would not be opposed to throwing this fairing kit on a bike and literally riding it the way it is, just the way it is. Say, you know, say for example, I got a, I got a fairing kit. I didn't have the money to pay for painting, you know, to paint the fairing at the time. I would not be opposed to uh, riding this bike around with this white fairing kit on this unfinished, unpainted fairing kit on it at all. It actually looks decent. It's not perfect. 
but it's decent looking like the finish just the abs plastic finish of it is really really nice except for like the dirt from my hands and you know you know messing around with everything and setting this down other than that it looks really really good um it would almost pass as a painted fairing kit the one other thing i noticed was this down here this lower piece is almost it, it feels thicker than these pieces and i i like that actually because i think the reason that's like that is because it's really close to the exhaust system here and stuff and this gets really hot and as you can see that gets really hot down in here so one of the things i did when i put it on was i did a ton of heat tape i did heat tape down here no you can't really see it but there's heat tape up in here there's some in there you can see i got heat tape up in there um just to kind of help these fairings from not melting my old piece down here was completely melted into the exhaust it really sucked um it looked like crap all that stuff i did not get a bolt kit from him um i ended up buying a bolt kit on amazon just a regular plain jane black uh bolt kit for a cbr 1000 rr bike the wheels were powder coated by a friend of mine and if i don't know if you guys can even see it actually you know what let me get my flashlight here then you guys can see it but there's actually a sparkle in that paint so it's a white with a with a sparkle finish to it now the wrap that's going on the bike here i mean there's a whole bunch of different colored wheels i could i went with for that um but i chose to go with white mainly because if i ever decide to take the wrap off the bike or and just get these fairings painted then i would never have to worry about getting my wheels powder good again because white pretty much goes with everything so i could then either make the fairings white again or i can paint them black or i can paint them you know pretty much just about any color because white goes white will go with pretty much any fairing color that i would do with this this motorcycle in the future if i decide to do that see but i am missing my pegs my buddy is finishing up powder coating them as well he did do the back ones so the back ones are done they're nice and black they were scuffed up a little bit you know bike's a little dirty i'm about to wash it but they were scuffed up a little bit so i had them powder coat you know my pegs while he did the the wheels for me as well here the other thing that i did was i i went gay <laughs> and i bought one of these cbr 1000 carbon fiber uh triple tree fake cover thingies it fits nice it's okay i mean you know it's just a cheap little like ten dollar thing um with the way the bike's going to be looking i didn't really want to see this whole silver piece up here so i wanted to do something with it plus i have carbon fiber gas uh cover as well so the fitment of these fairings are really really good i didn't really run into any issues whatsoever getting these fairings to go on and fit properly i have to get the one little there's like a rubber piece here i'll show you it on the other side i gotta order one of those and it never got never had it with the bike right here that little piece there that needs to be on the other side other than that the fairing kit is it, it's amazingly the fitment is amazing it's it fits together so so well especially this back piece here this you know this guy here these things are tight and this actually wraps around it's not a two piece it's a one piece the only little issue it had was this is kind of poked out a little bit too much but i don't think it's going to be really detrimental it's not going to cause any issues it's not going to rip off or anything as you can see the gap here is a lot skinnier than the gap here and that's just a molding process which i don't know maybe i could heat that up a little bit and kind of maybe i get some two-sided tape and put some two-sided tape in there and i'll probably do that maybe i'll rip this one out a little bit and do the same thing for that do the same thing for that one as well front fender is really nice fits really really good on the bike the side fenders fit really really good we'll go over on this side there's a little bit more light uh everything lines up real well for the fa the side fairings and even the under fairing the, the nice thing about the under fairing is the under fairing is one whole piece right here so it's not two pieces it's it's one whole piece that's a really nice feature i like about these i think all of them are one pieces but this just seems more sturdier than the ones that i've i've seen before the gas tank is really good the gas tank cover this is actually a cover it's not the actual gas tank the gas tanks underneath if you guys know anything about hondas uh, honda motorcycles they actually have a gas tank cover instead of an actual metal gas tank like cowies and yamis 
um, which is really convenient because you don't have to paint the gas tank if you ever wreck your bike or want to change the color of your bike or whatever the case may be. So, you know, if I ever want to change the color of this bike, all I have to do or change the theme of the bike or anything of that nature is take this all apart, put a new gas cap cover on with my whole new fairing kit, and I'm done, which is really why, one of the reasons why I really like Honda so much. They're so convenient to change color and change the scheme on, which is pretty awesome. Well, guys, I think that's going to pretty much end the review for the bike and the fairing kit and everything that's done to it so far. Um, hope to see everybody at Motorama this coming weekend. Uh, it's going to be a freaking, it's going to be an awesome, awesome time, guys. Like I said before, the Motorama information, uh, their website's going to be down in the description. All of 9S parts information will be in the description as well, guys. Go check them out. See if there's something there that you need for your bike as well. I did get two letters in my P.O. box. Let's go over and read them. All right, guys, the first one's from Thomas and Derek Kane, White Oak, PA. Um, he sends me a nice little letter. It says, hi, Andy. My name is Tommy and I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm 16 and I go for my license this April. I've been a subscriber for a while now and I like watching your build videos. This is my 1991 K5 Blazer. It currently has a 350 in it now, but soon I plan to build one up from just a block to make some more power. Do you think I would be good on the stock four-speed automatic transmission? Any suggestions? Thanks. Hope to see you at Motorama. You will. P.S. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Tommy. Um, the stock transmission in that, I mean, it should be okay. If I remember correctly, that's a 700, $700 four transmission. You should be good. But here's a picture, guys, of um, Tommy's truck. It's pretty cool. It's a clean, clean looking truck. Clean, clean looking truck. All right, guys, next one's from uh, Matt Profit. I'm hoping I'm saying your name right. I don't know. And he is all the way from Nebraska, which is crazy. So he sent me two pictures of cars. And uh, let me open up this letter here. And then I'll show you the... Oh, my God. Where's the letter at? There we go. Oh, my God. Come on. Okay. Hi, Andy. Oh, hey. I'm sorry. Hey, Andy. I love watching your videos. My name is Matt Profit. Hope I'm saying that right, Matt. I'm 20 and I live in Nebraska. I found out about DFR by watching Nick's channel who I found from Mike. I'm loving watching the build on the GTO because I own a 2004 GTO with an LS1. My car only has a k and coder intake and an exhaust, but the red G60 GTO is basically my dream build for my car one day. I also enjoyed all the Cam Camaros on the channel and look forward to you getting your Trans Am done. I'm looking forward to getting my Trans Am done too. Um, <laughs> in one of your recent mail times, you mentioned something about a wall of car pictures. So I included the picture of my 2004 GTO and my 1987 Monte Carlo SS. Keep up the great work and making awesome of videos. P.S. I travel to the East Coast quite frequently, so maybe I can stop by and you can do some upgrades for me. I can definitely do some upgrades for you. So let's see the picture of the GTO right here. Hope you guys can see that. That's pretty awesome. GTOs are already always pretty cool cars, you know. He has the racing stripes on there, as you can see. Got a nice little window banner. It's the wrong window banner. He needs to have a DFR window banner on that car is what he needs. So that's the picture of his GTO. And then here, a lot of, a lot of you guys might really appreciate that. Um, here's his uh, beautiful, beautiful Monte Carlo SS. And the thing is, you don't really see a lot of these cars around that uh, are in really nice shape. Um, you know, a lot of these, a lot of kids used to buy these things and beat the hell out of them and really destroyed a lot of them Monte Carlos. I'll be honest, them and the, and the third gen Camaros and Trans Ams really to beat the shit out of them. So it's nice to see a nice clean one. Um, thank you for the pictures, guys. Um, and they are, you know, he is right. I do plan on making a uh, poster board on the wall here somewhere in the shop. Um, and we're going to uh, post pictures up of people's cars. And uh, so if you guys have pictures of your cars or anything else you'd like to send, P.O. Box 303, Leola, PA, 17540. Send me your stuff and we'll hang it up or put it in one of the videos or whatever the case may be. I think there's only one more thing that we need to talk about today. And that's her. Stephanie. What is your YouTube name? I don't have one. 
Why don't you have a YouTube name, Stephanie? I don't know. <laughs> so me and Stephanie were talking the other day. And I was asking her, I was like, well, if you start a YouTube, what's your YouTube name going to be? She's like, I don't know. I can't think of a YouTube name. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? It's not that hard to think of a YouTube name. You know what I mean? Um, I think she could really contribute to YouTube, honestly. I've talked about this before, and I keep, like, trying to get her into it. And she just keeps like, I don't have a YouTube name, so I can't do it. I'm like, whatever. So what I think we're going to do, I think, right? Are we? Are we doing it? Possibly. We're going to... What? Possibly. Okay. If you guys are going to Motorama, Steph will be at Motorama. So you will see her at Motorama. There's going to be a suggestion box and we're going to have, uh, you know, some pieces of paper there for you guys to write on. And what we're asking, what Stephanie is asking, right, Stephanie? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what Stephanie is asking you guys to do is help her come up with a YouTube name. Now, obviously, I know not all of you can come to Motorama, um, but we are going to consider everybody's guests. Uh, so the guys that the, the guys that come to Motorama that want to make a guess, more than welcome to, you know, put it in the suggestion box. For everybody else that can't make it to Motorama, leave a comment below. Let us know what kind of a YouTube name would be good for Stephanie. Just so you know, guys, Stephanie has a 2006 Trailblazer TBSS. Is it 2007? It's a 2000, it's a, it's a late 2006. She calls it a 2007, but it's a late 2006. It's a red jewel tin coat. She also has she also has a beautiful, beautiful 2008 CBR 600 double R graffiti edition. She rides. She's a rider. She's a moto chick. So she, which she, will be at Motorama. which will also be a Motorama. Her bike will be a Motorama. So come by and see her bike. She'll end up doing probably motor vlogs and because uh, she's not, she doesn't like the camera. So I think it'll be easier for her to do some motor vlogging. Um, and she might do some stuff on her Trailblazer SS as well. Uh, some, uh, you know, performance upgrade videos possibly and stuff of that nature. So, like usual guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook, Diablo Formula Racing, guys. Deuces.